Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics, and today um, I wanted to kind of take a serious note. Um, I just found out a really good friend of mine from high school passed away, and not to bring a damper um, on your mood today, but um, my, this loss um, got me to thinking about, you know, one, well, it, first of all, it got me to thinking about my friend, of course. But, um, you know, to honor him and, him and respect his family, like I'm not going to mention his name or anything here. Um, but I just thought of like, you know, all the stuff that we did when we were kids. And it got me to think about other friends who's, who have passed away years ago. And, um, you know... The first thing is, I guess, just, uh, you know, cherishing the times that we have with people and, um, and you know, just being thankful for, for those times that we did get with them. Um, all our loved ones and our friends, you know, every time you see someone, it may be your last time, so make it count, you know and um but also be thankful be thankful for their life be thankful that they were they were a part of yours and and that they were able to you know impart on you some lessons and experiences um you know because you are the sum total of all those things that you went through all your experiences in life and all of your friendships count as well so um part of that person will always live on through you and um, and I think that's a really great thing but um, the other thing is you know not only honoring and respecting their memory by um, you know taking those experiences and, and memories and and always holding on to them and remembering but on the flip side it's about making new memories and living the rest of your life to the fullest and not stopping because you never know when your last moment is coming um, and I know for me I don't want to go out of this world without having left my mark without having shared my gift with the world and um, and I don't want you or anybody for that matter to to leave without sharing that greatness that's within each and every one of us so um, you know for me this past year because of the situation I was put in and in a sense I lost so much I lost so much time with people that I cared about um, I have been taking massive amounts of action compared to what I used to and um, and and a lot of it is because you never know where you're gonna be and what's going to happen and um, and this was just a, a sobering reminder that um, you know you could be talking to someone one minute and the next minute they're gone you could be here one minute and the next minute you're gone so what are you gonna do with these final moments what are you gonna do with your life are you gonna make something that's memorable are you going to to do something that's you know worth talking about years down the road um, my friend was again I don't wanna mention his name but he was a very inspirational person he, he, he had very strong beliefs and he inspired others um, in the way that he presented himself, in the way that he just literally fought, but also um, trained and, and, and just every aspect of his life. And so, um, so you know, how do you want to be remembered? Um, and I think about this a lot whenever I'm upset with my children or loved ones and and maybe I say some things or or you know I'm just angry 
I think to myself, you know, if this is if that was the last time that they saw me ever, is that is that the impression that I want to leave on them? Is that the last thing I want them to remember me by? You know, and and nobody's perfect. I'm not I'm not saying that that you can be, but you know, it's always good to remind yourself every once in a while that that the stresses of everyday life are not as important as the people in them and what they mean to you. So anyways, take it for what it is. Um, I hope this has helped in some manner, shape, or form to get you out of your seat, stop watching videos like this, and go do something. Go do something and share something with the world that that's important to you and, and that we need. Okay. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Take it easy.